We have been asked to say a few words about what Lent means to us. We had a lot of thoughts and ideas, but then we decided to listen to the first three reflections from our fellow parishioners. And we were captivated by their stories. The first thought was, what can we add to all that they said? But how can we match our fairly limited, for obvious reasons, experiences? But then we were struck that while doing our Lent mind maps a few days before, we shared the same emotions as authors of previous reflections. What was different was the scale of them. When I think of Lent, I think of Ash Wednesday, suffering, desert, 40 days, difficulties and temptations. Oh, temptations all around. We live in a world full of temptations. For example, for the first three weeks of Lent, we, like other children, have had school online. How fortunate we were. We have had our screens to ourselves for most of the day. Can you see the temptation? Oh yes, lessons are important and have to be done. But then there is this recurring thought. Let's go and play, watch, play, watch. That thought did not seem to be going away. The temptation was constant and we were so weak. I am so weak. Which is exactly opposite to what God and Jesus teach us during Lent. Jesus went to the desert, was tempted and tested to the extent we cannot imagine. And yet, because of his love, he prevailed. He is our hope, our strength. He teaches us self-discipline. But how can we succeed when temptations are constant? We can, but only with Jesus. I try to not forget that. I pray to want to pray look up to him and persevere and that is what Lent means to me falling down and getting up we are well I am weak but all the time look up to Jesus and believe that he will help me to remember about my duties about my promises and will help me to win the temptation fight after all he is the light. My Lenten mind map looks similar. I begin with sadness, wilderness, Satan, temptations, repayment. But then I have resolutions, forgiveness, love, faith and kindness all come to my mind. It is not gloom because God loves us so much. And this is what I like to think when I am sad or when I say no thank you to a chocolate bar and when I find that being kind is sometimes difficult. Sometimes I think that it is hard to give up things like sweets for 40 days but in reality it is so little, nothing compared to what Jesus did for us. I know I am loved so much Lent reminds me of how much God has done for me. When I think Lent, I also think of what happens at the end. Of happiness, of joy, of new life. I think of spring, of the sun, bright green, birds singing. I really like the sound of it, so calming. We are so lucky. God has given us this beautiful world, as it is written on the altar in our church, Christ is risen. So Lent for me is a mixture of emotions, sadness mixed with happiness and the joy of the thought of God's love for me, for all of us. Also, we are here and today is Mothering Sunday. Can we wish all mums a very beautiful day, full of sunshine and love? Thank you for looking after us and putting up with us. 
Thank you for making our home such a happy place. We would like to finish with two things, a prayer and a poem. First, as we are thinking of our earthly mums, we remember and are thankful for Mary, our eternal loving mum. We pray. O oh Jesus, divine master, I thank you for giving us I thank you for having given us Mary, most holy, as our as our mother. From the cross you placed us all in her hands. You gave her a great heart, much wisdom, and immense power. May our mums be inspired by her, and all mankind know her and pray to her. Secondly and lastly, I would like to read and dedicate this poem to all mums. Have a wonderful day. Mother of Mine by Rudyard Kipling If I were hanged on the highest hill, Mother of Mine, O oh Mother of Mine, I know whose love would follow me still, Mother of Mine, O oh Mother of Mine. If I were drowned in the deepest sea, Mother of mine, O oh mother of mine, I know whose tears would come down to me, Mother of mine, O oh mother of mine. If I were damned of body and soul, I know whose prayers would make me whole, Mother of mine, O oh mother of mine. Thank you for listening. Lord, I know how much you love me. It is hard for me to feel it sometimes, but I know your love is always with me. Help me to use your love as a way to persevere in my Lenten intentions. I am weak, but I know with your help I can use these small sacrifices in my life to draw closer to you. Amen.